Hey guys, it is Kyle and we are back for another vlog and this is the first one that I've done for the year. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all of that jazz. Hopefully it is going amazing, even though it's the very start of the year, a lot of things can happen. But anyway, let's get back to it. Today we're going to be talking about full sentences, when and how. So let's get straight into it. Cool, so when do we make our Brady's make sentences? So the easiest way to do this is to make sure I drive this point home, I'm gonna use a burger company, okay? The company doesn't make a difference. The important thing is that every Brady in the IQ bar system is a company that makes burgers. Now, this goal or the goal for this company is obviously to be the best burger joint in the world. Now, how do they do that? Well, simply enough, they make burgers. Right? A lot of them and the tastiest, most delicious burgers you could possibly think of. I'm talking fat patty, I'm talking lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, onions, you name it. Ooh, pineapple. There has to be pineapple, right? But that's besides the point. I'm getting kind of hungry right now. But they want to make the best burger that they could possibly make and then make as many of them as they possibly can and then obviously send it out through the world, okay? And then before you know it, they move from Asia, they've gone to Europe, they've gone to Australia, America, North America, South America, Africa, and pretty much all over the world, right? And now that burger joint is top-notch, insane in the membrane. Now, Essentially, how does that translate into what the topic is today? So if you think about it, well, the company and the Brady is still the same thing, the Brady, okay? Now, the company's goal from the burger joint well, is essentially to be the best burger joint in the world. That goal translates to the Brady, well, he wants to be the best in English, okay? He wants to know how to speak English, hands down, inside out, all the nitty gritties, all the tips and tricks he wants to know and he wants to be able to do it amazingly, okay? Now, the only way that he's gonna get to that goal, just like that company, he has to make the most delicious, amazing burgers, sentences in our case, that he could possibly make. He needs to make a lot of them and he needs to be able to use them in any environment, right? It's gotta spread throughout the world. It's gotta just spread like a wildfire. And the only way that he's gonna be able to do that is by us, as a teacher, as the buddy, getting them to make as many of them as you possibly can. So when do we use them? When do we make them use full sentences? From the start of the lesson to the end of the lesson, right? To the moment you say goodbye. Now, how do we actually do this? Stay tuned and find out. Awesome guys, so how do we actually get our Brady to use full sentences all the time to make that juicy fat burger, right? So I essentially use four different things and that's essentially gestures, using examples or giving examples, providing the next word and lastly, making a joke of it. Now, number four, making a joke of it, I only use with Brady's that I have often, my regular Brady's that I know I understand them and we do kind of mess around and joke a little bit, but like I said, it's only for Brady's that I have Often. So gestures, what do I mean by that? Now, when I want them to answer in a full sentence, I always go bam, or I always do this, right? So essentially what I would do is, can you answer in a full sentence? What is your favorite color? And they might go red and I'll go, hmm, full sentence. And they might get it, they might not get it. If they don't, I'll help them out and I'll hold up red. And then eventually get them to say the full sentence, whether it's on, a, on their own or whether it's me helping them, it doesn't make a difference. But gestures help out a lot, okay? I go full sentence, so it's nice and long. What you could also go, or what you could also do, I should say, is let me think of an example. Hmm, ah, I like red. Now, it's a full sentence, but we can make it a little longer. So I might go, I like, for them to carry on with something else, right? I like the color red, okay? As opposed to just saying, I like red. Remember, you, blah, 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 blah. Remember, you want to make 
the perfect burger, the perfect sentence. It's nice and big, nice and fat, nice and juicy. So stay away from, especially if your bread is a lot more experienced, stay away from the smaller sentences, get them to try and expand, make it as big as they possibly can, right? And then just add on. So if I want them to add on a word or add something extra in, I'll end up doing this. So full sentence, add on or repeat essentially okay so that's my gestures and then obviously props colors all that jazz use your own gestures from that point of view but you want to get them to use full sentences with your gestures okay now the next part always especially with the older breeders they might know exactly what they want to say they might understand the concept of full sentences but they might not know the actual english word so that's when i'll end up giving them a word that they might need so they might go i i and we're talking about colors or birds or apples or whatever it is right their favorite fruit i i like like hmm apples or my favorite animal hmm. animal is a dog so i'll just help them out with an extra word or two whether it's dog, cat, a verb, a noun, a pronoun, whatever it is, I'll just help them with the extra word. And then I'll find that, it's, like I said, especially with the older birdies, the more experienced birdies, right? They end up being able to fill in the rest of the gap on their own. They're just missing one or two words, right? Then the other thing what I do is, especially if they said the wrong sentence, like, for example, I study on school. And then I'll look at them and go, hmm, do you study on school? And then I'll draw a picture of a school and then have them on the actual building and be like, well, this is what you said. You study on school? And they'll go, ah, and they laugh a little bit and they'll go at school. And I'll be like, that's perfect, great work. Or I might go, hmm, the whole thing's still the same, study on school, laugh a little bit, and then I'll explain to them the correct way, at, bam, I study at school. Okay, or I do this at the park. I do this in the swimming pool or whatever the case may be. And instead of them using on, I'll just put in the correct word, right? I do this on the swimming pool. Hmm. So do you sit on the water, on the swimming pool and do it? Or do you go in the swimming pool? And then I'll just sort of make a little joke about it and we'll laugh about it and they'll correct it, okay? Or if they're super experienced and they're just being lazy, and they go, ah, what is this? And they look at me and go, that's a ball. And I'll look at them and go, hmm, do you think you can make that a little longer into a bigger sentence? And then what I'll do is I'll write down, uh, this is a space ball. And then what they'll do is, well, this is a red ball. And they'll add it and I'll be like, that's amazing. Can we do it again? And then this is a red ball space ball and i'll be like hmm can we add anything else in there ah this is a red and green ball perfect and then i'll go awesome so hmm, what can we do over here this is a red and green ball space 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 can you add something extra on the end of that this is a red and green ball it belongs to my sister or something like that, and they'll just sort of end up expanding, expanding. They're learning how to put everything together, but essentially they're just giving one or two words into the sentence that's already there, and it just makes it bigger and bigger, right? So that is pretty much it. When, how, and full sentences. Catch you on the flip side, guys. Peace out.